Hey everyone, Jeremy with Stay Cool Climate Control, and today I want to talk about limit switches. What a limit switch is, what it does, and some problems you may be experiencing with your furnace if it has a faulty limit switch or limit issues. Basically, what the limit switch is, it's a switch that's going to shut the furnace off if the temperature inside the furnace cabinet gets too high. This is called a high limit switch. So on this particular limit switch, it's going to read limit 150 minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically, when the interior cabinet of the furnace gets above 150 degrees, it's going to open the switch in here, killing power to the gas valve and thus shutting the gas off on the furnace. Then the blower motor on the furnace is going to continue to run, cooling that furnace down. And when it gets minus 30 degrees, under the 150, so 120 degrees, it's actually going to close this switch again and allow the furnace to restart. So if your furnace is experiencing short cycling, where it runs, then kicks off, runs, then kicks off, runs, and then kicks off, you may have a faulty limit switch, or the limit switch may be doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, and you have an issue with airflow, your blower motor, your heat exchanger, or other things that could be tripping the limit itself. A few issues we've seen in the past with these limit switches causing intermittent issues are very simple problems. So the limit switch is actually inserted in the furnace cabinet again. So any dust that makes past your filter can sometimes collect on the end of this limit switch where it senses the temperature. And that dust actually heats up faster than the metal inside the limit switch, thus tricking the limit, making it hotter than it really is. And so all we have to do is take the limit out, clean it off, and put it back on. Some other times we have trickier problems, like this limit switch, it's only two years old. But as you can see, it's separated right there from the factory weld. So in this case, the furnace was operating properly when the limit was making contact. But then after it ran for a while, it heated up, the blower motor started causing a disturbance in the limit, and then it would start moving back and forth thus creating an intermittent issue. Our technician Jacob was able to find that problem, but it took a little bit more time because half the time it was working, half the time it wasn't working. Those are just some simple, easy problems. Well, not easy problems, but easy fixes to some intermittent issues that we've seen in the field.